growing up in Sarayaku, which is my uh, home and community uh, where my mother is from, um, it was uh, a natural thing to be uh, part of everything else, you know, the river, um, the trees, the the animals, the family, the ailu, which is like the, the big family. Um, and my grandparents and, and my mother and my uncles always spoke about um, the forest and all its beings as alive and equal um, in one way or another to us and the members of our ailu and the members of um, my community. So that was never something... Um, I guess in a way it was, you know, it was sort of taken for granted. Uh, I took it for granted that it was that way always. Um, and Kausak Sacha means the living forest. So when you refer to um, different plants or different trees or even stones uh, or beings, um, we always refer to them as Kausak. So everything is Kausak. Kausak Yaku, you know, the living, living water, uh, Kausak Urku, living mountains, so everything um, is alive. So it's not, you know, obviously it's a way of understanding the world. It's a way of building relationship to uh, plants, building relationship to animals, building relationship to each other, um, us humans. Um so it's a way of understanding, it's a philosophy, it's a concept, but more than anything, um, it is something that is practiced. So it's not uh, just something that's a, a concept that is in our head that we understand in intellectually, but it's something that is practiced on a daily basis. So I think this oneness and this interconnection um, and this sense of belonging to this greater community of humans um, and all other living beings um, is also what, um, you know, just thinking about my own family and, and my community is, is also what uh, makes us I, fight so hard to protect our family. Um, and for example, um, you know, when our elders pass away, um, we don't see, uh, we don't understand that as uh, someone dying and disappearing, but their spirit um, goes to the, to the big trees. Um, the tree of life but also to the big standing Uchuputu trees that are in the forest, like the Sebo, for example. Um, so what happens uh, is that they are still there with us, with our big ailu, which is the humans and the non-humans and the animals and the plants and, and everything that is alive. Um, so what happens when oil companies come and mining companies come and they cut down these big sacred trees they're not just cutting down sacred trees. They are actually killing our ancestors. They're killing our elders. They're killing our relatives. And that's how deep that connection goes. And I think um, that's something that people that don't experience or practice Kausak uh, Sacha on a daily basis don't understand uh, how... Um, how close and and um, deep these relationships with the non-human living beings are, um, and I think all of this um, was recently put into a a proposal, um, a proposal a vision to share with the world because we have uh, at least as 
uh, you know, my family and, and as the Sarayaku people have been quite resistant to sharing ancestral knowledge or sharing um, sort of the secrets of, uh, of, our, of our ways and, and our traditions and our, our especially the sacred t- traditions. Um, but this concept, this understanding of the living force was put into a proposal to share with the world um, with the purpose uh, for the global community to understand this relationship and through understanding and perhaps even feeling and perhaps even practicing that um, also protect these living territories, these living forests, these living rivers and mountains, um, all these living uh, biomes, as Nat would call it. Um, So it's about, within a legal framework, um, the the Living Forest Declaration, the Kausak Sacha Declaration, is about, within a legal framework, acknowledging and recognizing forests and territories as conscious beings made up of many living and conscious beings that are um that have rights so recognizing living territories with rights living rivers with rights um, and also recognizing those beings that perhaps we do not see um, but that our elders are deeply connected with. Um, so uh, I guess like within a very tangible, um, very tangible action uh, or a very tangible call to action from the living forest or, or this way of understanding the living forest is uh, to, to be able for countries to approve this new legal framework. Um, And we have been working with different uh, international organizations such as the IUCN, but also the Ministry of Environment in Ecuador, um, pressuring and proposing uh, that this is recognized within this legal framework. Um, And I think it's also worth mentioning that within this cosmology or within this, sort of way of understanding life. Um, It's also um, about um, challenging, uh, I think the global view on what development means and what wealth means. Um, And within the Living Forest proposal, there's also, um, I guess like uh, an explanation of how the Quechua people of Sarayaku understand wealth and w- what are the indicators of wealth within the Kausak Sacha Living Forest uh, Cosmovision, um, which is fertile soil, clean air, um, the solidarity of your people, um, and 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 happiness. Um, uh, and also uh, cl- clean water. And I think happiness and the solidarity of your people and the, your big family and Ailu, um is one of the key factors um, because in our communities, we often work um, in community, in, you know, collectively in Mingas, um, but also in deep relationship to different plants, medicinal plants, um, the soil, treating the soil, treating the plants as living beings, singing to them, speaking to them, um, and also understanding their different um, characters uh, and their different attitudes. Um, (laughs) I could talk about that more deeply, but um, every plant has not just like the physical aspect, like the the its uh, characteristic, but also its own character. And based upon those characters, um, our elders, for example, know what they are for, whether it's like medicine, is it for uh, construction? Is it for beauty? Is it, you know, it, 
um, whatever it is. Uh, so it's about this deep relationship, uh, this friendship, this understanding and, and, and interconnectedness.